the transatlantic slave trade was a brutal and inhumane practice that took place from the 16th to the 19th centuries. European colonizers, primarily from Portugal, Spain, and Britain, brought between 10 million and 12 million enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean to work as slaves on plantations, mines, and in other labor-intensive industries in the Americas. The slave trade had a profound and lasting impact on Africa, as it stripped the continent of its human capital and contributed to the impoverishment and underdevelopment that still plagues many African countries today. Despite its significance, the Atlantic slave trade is often overlooked or downplayed in mainstream history. This is especially true when it comes to the African tribes that were most heavily impacted by the slave trade. In this video, we will be exploring the top 10 African tribes taken in the Atlantic slave trade. These tribes, which include the Yoruba, the Igbo, the Congo, the Mandinka, and the Fon, among others, represent some of the most significant and influential cultures in African history. But before we get into it, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Africa Info Hub to ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this. Also, click on the notification bell to be alerted with all updates. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. 10. The Yoruba The Yoruba are a large ethnic group native to West Africa, primarily Nigeria and Benin. With a population of over 40 million people, the Yoruba are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in Africa. They have a rich and complex history, with a long tradition of kingdom building and a cultural heritage that is deeply entwined with their religious beliefs and practices. They are perhaps most well known for their contributions to the field of art and literature. Yoruba artists are known for their distinctive style of sculpture, which features intricate patterns and symbols that are imbued with spiritual significance. Yoruba literature is also highly regarded, with a tradition of oral storytelling that has been passed down through the generations. But even with their cultural and artistic achievements, the Yoruba have also had a difficult history. During the Atlantic slave trade, the Yoruba were one of the tribes most heavily impacted by the slave trade. Many Yoruba were captured and sold into slavery, with many being sent to work on plantations in the Americas. The experience of the slave trade had a profound and lasting impact on the Yoruba people, and it has left a legacy of trauma and pain that is still felt to this day. Nonetheless, irrespective of the challenges they have faced, the Yoruba have remained a resilient and vibrant people. Today, though they continue to maintain their cultural traditions and practices, and they are an integral part of the fabric of West African society. From their rich artistic and literary heritage to their enduring spirit and resilience, the Yoruba are an inspiring and important part of the African story. The Yoruba language is a part of the Niger-Congo language family and is spoken by over 20 million people. It is the most widely spoken language in Nigeria and is also spoken in Benin and Togo. In addition to being the language of everyday communication, Yoruba is also an important language in the realm of religion, as it is used in the liturgy of the traditional Yoruba religion. The traditional Yoruba religion is based on the worship of a pantheon of deities, known as the Orisha. Each Orisha is associated with a particular aspect of life, such as fertility, justice, or war, and is believed to be capable of intervening in the lives of human beings. The Yoruba also believe in a supreme creator deity, known as Olodu Mary, who is responsible for the creation and maintenance of the universe. The Yoruba are also known for their traditional system of governance, which is based on a system of kingship. The Yoruba have a long tradition of kingdom building, with a history of powerful and influential rulers who have shaped the course of Yoruba history. Today, they continue to play a significant role in the political landscape of Nigeria, with many Yoruba leaders holding positions of power and influence at the local, regional, and national levels. 9. The Igbo The Igbo are an ethnic group native to southeastern Nigeria and surrounding countries. With a population of over 40 million people, the Igbo are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in Africa. They have a rich and complex history, with a long tradition of trade, agriculture, and governance. The Igbo are known for their cultural and economic achievements, and they have played a significant role in the development of Nigeria. The Igbo are renowned for their entrepreneurial spirit and their ability to adapt and thrive in a variety of economic environments. They have a long tradition of trade, and they have been instrumental in the development of the Nigerian economy. Despite their successes, the Igbo have also faced numerous challenges throughout their history. 
During the Atlantic slave trade, the Igbo were one of the tribes most heavily impacted. Many Igbo were captured and sold into slavery, with many being sent to work on plantations in the Americas. The experience of the slave trade had a profound and lasting impact on the Igbo people, and it has left a legacy of trauma and pain that is still felt to this day. Despite the challenges they have faced, the Igbo have remained a resilient and vibrant people. Today, the Igbo continue to maintain their cultural traditions and practices, and they are an integral part of the fabric of Nigerian society. From their rich cultural heritage to their enduring spirit and resilience, the Igbo are an inspiring and important part of the African story. The Igbo language is a part of the Niger-Congo language family and is spoken by over 25 million people. It is the most widely spoken language in southeastern Nigeria and is also spoken in surrounding countries. In addition to being the language of everyday communication, Igbo is also an important language in the realm of religion, as it is used in the liturgy of the traditional Igbo religion. The traditional Igbo religion is based on the worship of a pantheon of deities, known as the Alusi. Each Alusi is associated with a particular aspect of life, such as fertility, justice, or war, and is believed to be capable of intervening in the lives of human beings. The Igbo also believe in a supreme creator deity, known as Chukwu, who is responsible for the creation and maintenance of the universe. The Igbo have a long tradition of religious syncretism, and many Igbo people also practice Christianity or Islam. 8. The Shamba The Shamba tribe, native to the Congo region of Africa, was tragically taken in the Atlantic slave trade during the 16th to 19th centuries. Over 12 million Africans were forcibly removed from their homes and shipped to the Americas, and the Shamba tribe was no exception. Many were used for labor on plantations, in mines, and in households as domestic servants. The Atlantic slave trade had a devastating impact on African societies, including the Shamba tribe, as entire communities were torn apart and families were separated from one another. The journey from Africa to the Americas, known as the Middle Passage, was a harrowing experience for enslaved Africans. They were packed into tight quarters on ships, with little room to move or stretch. Disease and death were common, and it is estimated that over 20% of enslaved Africans did not survive the journey. Those who did survive were often subjected to brutal treatment and harsh working conditions upon arrival in the Americas. The Atlantic slave trade was a lucrative business for European slave traders, who profited greatly from the sale of enslaved Africans. The Shamba tribe, along with other African tribes, played a vital role in the development of the economies of the Americas, as their labor helped to build infrastructure and create wealth. However, the cost of this wealth was immeasurable, as the African slaves and their descendants were denied their basic human rights and dignity. The legacy of the Atlantic slave trade continues to be felt in the African diaspora today. The descendants of enslaved Africans, including those of the Shamba tribe, have had to grapple with the lasting effects of this dark period in history. Despite this, many have persevered and have made significant contributions to society in the arts, sciences, and other fields. The history of the Atlantic slave trade serves as a reminder of the need to respect the rights and dignity of all people and to work towards a more just and equal world. 7. The Congo The Congo are an ethnic group native to Central Africa, primarily the Democratic Republic of Congo and Angola. With a population of over 7 million people, the Congo are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in Africa. The Congo have a rich and complex history, with a long tradition of kingdom building, trade, and cultural exchange. They are known for their cultural and artistic achievements, and they have made significant contributions to the development of Central Africa. The Congo are renowned for their art, particularly their sculpture, which features intricate patterns and symbols that are imbued with spiritual significance. Congo artists are also skilled craftsmen, and they have a long tradition of creating beautiful and functional objects, such as baskets, pottery, and textiles. Despite their cultural and artistic achievements, the Congo have also faced numerous challenges throughout their history. During the Atlantic slave trade, the Congo were one of the tribes most heavily impacted by the slave trade. Many Congo were captured and sold into slavery, with many being sent to work on plantations in the Americas. The experience of the slave trade had a profound and lasting impact on the Congo people, and it has left a legacy of trauma and pain that is still felt to this day. Today, the Congo continue to maintain their cultural traditions and practices, 
and they are an integral part of the fabric of Central African society. From their rich artistic heritage to their enduring spirit and resilience, the Congo are an inspiring and important part of the African story. The Congo language is a part of the Niger-Congo language family and is spoken by over 10 million people. It is the most widely spoken language in the Democratic Republic of Congo and is also spoken in Angola. In addition to being the language of everyday communication, Congo is also an important language in the realm of religion, as it is used in the liturgy of the traditional Congo religion. The traditional Congo religion is based on the worship of a pantheon of deities, known as the Nkisi. The Congo also believe in a supreme creator deity, known as Nzambi, who is responsible for the creation and maintenance of the universe. The Congo have a long tradition of religious syncretism, and many Congo people also practice Christianity or Islam. 6. The Fon The Fon are an ethnic group native to West Africa, primarily Benin and Togo. With a population of over 6 million people, the Fon are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in West Africa. The Fon have a rich and complex history, with a long tradition of kingdom building, trade, and cultural exchange. The Fon are known for their cultural and artistic achievements, and they have made significant contributions to the development of West Africa. They are renowned for their art, particularly their sculpture, which features intricate patterns and symbols that are imbued with spiritual significance. Fon artists are also skilled craftsmen, and they have a long tradition of creating beautiful and functional objects, such as baskets, pottery, and textiles. The Fon language is spoken by over 6 million people. It is the most widely spoken language in Benin and Togo, and it is also spoken in surrounding countries. The traditional Fon religion is based on the worship of a pantheon of deities, known as the Vodun. The Fon also believe in a supreme creator deity, known as Mawu, who is responsible for the creation and maintenance of the universe. The Fon have a long tradition of religious syncretism, and many Fon people also practice Islam or Christianity. 5. The Ashantis The Ashanti are an ethnic group native to West Africa, primarily Ghana. With a population of over 7 million people, the Ashantis are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in West Africa. They have a rich and complex history, with a long tradition of kingdom building, trade, and cultural exchange. They are known for their cultural and artistic achievements, and they have made significant contributions to the development of West Africa. The Ashanti people are known for their intricately patterned sculpture, which incorporates symbols and patterns with deep spiritual meaning. Ashanti artists are also skilled craftsmen, and they have a long tradition of creating beautiful and functional objects, such as baskets, pottery, and textiles. The Ashanti have persevered as a strong and resilient people in spite of their difficulties, and have grown together into a large kingdom in Ghana. Today, the Ashanti kingdom continue to maintain their cultural traditions and practices, and they are an integral part of the fabric of West African society. From their rich artistic heritage to their enduring spirit and resilience, the Ashanti are an inspiring and important part of the African story. It is the most widely spoken language in Ghana and is also spoken in surrounding countries. In addition to being the language of everyday communication, Ashanti is also an important language. 4. The Wolof The Wolof are an ethnic group native to West Africa, primarily Senegal, Gambia, and Mauritania. With a population of over 5 million people, the Wolof are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in West Africa. The Wolof are known for their cultural and artistic achievements, and they have made significant contributions to the development of West Africa. The Wolof are renowned for their music, which is an integral part of their cultural identity. Wolof music is characterized by its rhythmic complexity and its use of traditional instruments, such as the sabah, a drum played with the hands and feet. Despite their cultural and artistic achievements, the Wolof have also faced numerous challenges throughout their history. Today, the Wolof continues to maintain their cultural traditions and practices, and they are an integral part of the fabric of West African society. From their rich musical heritage to their enduring spirit and resilience, the Wolofs are an inspiring and important part of the African story. 3. The Ewe The Ewe are an ethnic group native to West Africa, primarily Ghana, Togo, and Benin. With a population of over 7 million people, the Ewe's are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in West Africa. 
the Eweas have made enormous contributions to the development of West Africa and are well known for their cultural and aesthetic accomplishments. The Ewe are renowned for their music, which is an integral part of their cultural identity. Ewe music is characterized by its rhythmic complexity and its use of traditional instruments, such as the Atsimivu, a drum played with the hands and feet. They have remained strong and firm people despite the challenges they have faced. The Ewe still uphold their cultural practices and traditions in modern times, and they constitute an essential component of West African society. 2. The Mandinka the Mandinka tribe, native to West Africa, was one of the many African tribes affected by the Atlantic slave trade. The Mandinka tribe was particularly impacted, as they lived in an area that was heavily targeted by European slave traders. The Atlantic slave trade had a devastating impact on the Mandinka tribe and other African societies. Entire communities were torn apart and families were separated from one another. The legacy of this dark period in history continues to be felt in the African diaspora today, as the descendants of enslaved Africans grapple with the lasting effects of this trauma. Despite this, the Mandinka tribe and other African tribes have made significant contributions to the world through their art, music, and culture. 1. The Hausa The Hausa are an ethnic group native to West Africa, primarily Niger, Nigeria, and Chad. With a population of over 50 million people, the Hausa are one of the largest and most influential ethnic groups in Africa. The Hausa have a rich and complex history, with a long tradition of trade, agriculture, and governance. The Hausa are known for their cultural and economic achievements, and they have played a significant role in the development of West Africa. The Hausa are renowned for their entrepreneurial spirit and their ability to adapt and thrive in a variety of economic environments. They have a long tradition of trade, and they have been instrumental in the development of the West African economy. Despite their successes, the Hausa have also faced numerous challenges throughout their history. During the Atlantic slave trade, the Hausa were one of the tribes most heavily impacted by the slave trade. Many Hausa were captured and sold into slavery, with many being sent to work on plantations in the Americas. The Hausa people were deeply and permanently affected by the slave trade which created a legacy of trauma and suffering that is still felt today. The Hausa have managed to remain a robust and lively people despite the difficulties they have encountered. The Hausa language is a part of the Afroasiatic language family and is spoken by over 50 million people. It is the most widely spoken language in Niger, Nigeria, and Chad, and it is also spoken in surrounding countries. In addition to being the language of everyday communication, Hausa is also an important language in the realm of religion, as it is used in the liturgy of Islam. The Hausa are predominantly Muslim, and Islam has played a significant role in the cultural and social development of the Hausa people. The Hausa have a long tradition of Islamic scholarship, and they have contributed significantly to the development of Islamic thought and practice. The Hausa are also known for their commitment to social justice and their efforts to promote peace and understanding between different cultural and religious groups. The Atlantic slave trade was a tragic and horrific chapter in human history, and its impact is still felt to this day, and even if it is a chapter in our history, its impact is still felt today. It is important that we remember the atrocities of the past, and that we work to ensure that such horrors are never repeated. By honoring the rich cultural heritage of the tribes of Africa, we can help to heal the wounds of the past. And as we look to the future, it is important that we remember the lessons of the past and work to create a world that is free from the horrors of slavery and oppression. By coming together and working towards a common goal, then we can create a brighter and more prosperous future for all people, regardless of their race or ethnicity. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends about it and hit the like button. Also, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.